Today's Spotlight on Naperville is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Welcome back to Spotlight on Naperville. I'm Nancy Wearsome, and we're going to visit now with Literacy DuPage, important, important group. Bernie Steiger is the new executive director, so congratulations Thank and welcome to much. you. Thanks for having mm -hmm. us. Delighted Thank to you. have you. Stephanie Brick is development and outreach manager, so good to see you. you. And Rita Mathern is a volunteer Thank tutor, so right. good to see you again. Thank you. <laughs> well, Bernie, let's start. We'll put you right in as new executive director. Mm -hmm. Tell us what is Literacy DuPage? Literacy DuPage is a community-based organization. Um, we've been around since 1972, and it is our mission to provide customized and accessible and free English tutoring in the community. And the residents that we serve are those that have great difficulty, um, perhaps with transportation or childcare. Um, they may be working a second and or third shift or they may not be able to succeed in a classroom atmosphere because of course there are many programs available including COD if they were able to get to those locations. Um, so through our volunteer tutors, um, of which we're very proud, <laughs> we are able to have students and tutors work out a mutually convenient time and location to meet. And then the tutors are also trained to provide customized um, training and tutoring so that the adult learner can meet his or her needs and objectives. Wow. And Rita, now what drew you to Literacy DuPage? Well, actually, it's hard to think back 15 years ago. <laughs> but um, I saw an ad in the paper, I think, uh, I don't know, one of the local papers, that uh, Literacy DuPage was starting a program at the detention center. Actually, it was Literacy Volunteers yes, at the time. And uh, that appealed to me. So for quite a few years, I volunteered uh, with basic English students at the um, detention center. and then gradually took on uh, ESL type of teaching with people from Egypt and Guatemala and uh, Taiwan and all kinds of different places. It's really been very stimulating and interesting wow. over the time. Oh, you, yeah. you must have had some incredible experiences oh, yes, over those, that number of years. And let's talk a little bit about you know the training, because you have a training coming up, right? We do. So if someone wanted to become a tutor? That's correct. We provide 18 hours of free training. And we have a training session coming up at Nichols Library uh, beginning on, on the 16th of January. So we're very excited. We'll be training hopefully many, many tutors, and we hope your viewers will be interested in this opportunity. And um, we do it over six sessions. They can check out our website and get more details about what dates that falls on. And they don't need to speak another language, correct? No, that's correct. Yeah. No experience okay. necessary. I think that's important, because I think yeah, sometimes people sure. are intimidated right. thinking. Right. Yeah. And you also do some events. Yes. So yes. let's talk about, this is so, so clever. Reading Between Reading the Wines. Reading Between the Wines. I yes. love it. <laughs> That's our event that we have coming up in February. It's February 1st. It's a ladies' lunch and fashion show, and it's going to take place at Parker's Restaurant and Bar in Downers Grove, Saturday afternoon, February 1st. So the Super Bowl is Sunday, so <laughs> our that, that's for the guys and all the sport people, and our event is uh, Saturday. And there's going to be a fashion show that's going to be run by Jeans and a Cute Top Shop, also in Downers Grove. And uh, as, the, as the title says, there is going to be a little bit of wine there. It's a three-course <laughs> meal, and there's going to be wine flights with each meal. And we'll also have a wine poll and the fashion show. But of course, the real focus is on the need for literacy awareness in DuPage County. So we are going to have one of our adult learners speak there and talk about her experience with our program and with her tutor and what her goals were and how, how our program changed her life and what she's been able to succeed with. And also we'll focus on some other students, talk about their goals, uh, what they've been able to achieve, and we'll ask our guests to sponsor them. And if they sponsor one of our guests, then they'll, then they'll be able to enter one of our raffles. Oh, what a great mm -hmm. idea. Yeah. Great idea. So that is Reading Between the Wines, Saturday, yes. February 1st. How exciting. And we've talked about the training, but let's talk about the process then. If you are a tutor, Mm -hmm. Is there a set number of times you meet with the client, or is it, does it depend on their needs? How does that work? Generally, uh, once a week, and over the course of two years is the normal. It's, it's pretty much a good thing to commit a two-year um, volunteer uh, amount of time, because 
these students are not necessarily, they can come in at all different levels. I've had uh, recently a, a young woman who had two years of college in Guatemala before she moved here and she picked up the language so quickly and, and moved along in a year and a half so or less and was just excellent. The woman I have right now has a lot of challenges with four, little, four young boys at home. Her husband's working a lot and one of the boys is autistic and she doesn't drive and so she has no way to get somewhere else other than her husband when he's finally home from work. So the tutoring is not only for her language skills but also helps her I think a little bit with her mental health you know as far as just feeling like she's with another adult for a while and we talk about lots of things and and it's just a, sort of a connection I think that some people need and and feel empowered by. Mm -hmm. Now will you take something very ordinary like um, a newspaper, a grocery receipt and, mm -hmm. and go through those items? Right, we do. We, use, uh, we pretty much make up our own lessons. We don't have a textbook that we go from. We have a lot of resources and Literacy DuPage keeps us uh, in periodic workshop um, offerings that really help bring the tutors along and remind them of their original training skills. The training is excellent. Um, so yes, we, we try to find out where they are with their language at, at the point that they come in and then what the needs are and, and work with hands-on things right there. I was going to say, I bet it's very, very individualized yeah. because is. everyone Highly is customized. so different yes. mm -hmm. and coming in with you know, different levels of understanding of right. the English language. It would right. seem like you'd have to be really flexible. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, true. And, and, and some of them, you know, uh, haven't gone all that far in education in their home country mm -hmm. with their own language, so that presents a little additional uh, challenge for a tutor. But it's so um, rewarding. I mean, I really have to emphasize it's an extremely rewarding thing. To teach somebody one-on-one -on -one is the perfect situation. Yeah. And you really make some progress and, and gain some friendships and cultural. Because yeah. you're able uh, to help them with their life skills. Yeah. Like you said, to look at a grocery receipt and, sure. and then they can talk with their children's teachers and communicate with the clerks. Yeah. Make appointments well, on the telephone, that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, we thank you for the great, great work you're doing. And thank you so much for being thank on you. with you're us welcome. tonight. And now we're going to get a sneak peek at a new sports documentary, We Are Rivals produced by the NCTV 17 sports team. And after that, we'll be back with some of the staff to tell you more about this exciting new project. So stay with us.